So in this video, we're going to check out filtering and subtractive EQ, and I'm also going to do a little bit more panning. Just before I do that, I've actually separated a couple of the guitar parts that were um, on different regions just because they kind of needed to be on their own region. And at the moment, they're outside of our group structure. And I just wanted to show you the fact that if we click on this track and bring it up into the folder area here, the folder open, it will now be included in that folder. So that's quite a useful feature if you bring in an audio file from outside. So what I've done since the last time is basically, as I said, go through and just work on some more kind of automation with game plugins. I've done it on some of these guitar parts. I've done it on this bass part here. So let's have a little listen. It's very simple stuff. So I'm going to be feeding our compressors a nice even signal. It's really going to make a difference in the long run. All these little things add up. It's about taking the time out and having the attention to detail. It's going to make sure at the end you've got a really good sounding mix. Okay, so I've done that on all the tracks that I feel are necessary. I've done it kind of quick and dirty, not taking too long over it, um, just to get something going. So just going back to the panning, I want to do some more panning on some of these things. We've got quite a lot of harmony parts. So for example, and, and also double tracks. So here we've got a line which is reinforced with some double tracks here. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love, then do the wheel grow. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Now the function of these is to add a little bit of size and emphasis to this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan these left and right and push them out to the side. So it's really going to bring out the emphasis on that line. The wheel grow. Or if you're brave enough to of course it would help. I did it on the right tracks. In fact, listening to that, these could probably benefit from a little bit of pre-processing automation as well. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Let's try this one. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or, or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love. It's much smoother that one anyway. Or if you're brave enough to risk it all for love, then Okay, so also on the chorus, we have a kind of call and response between the lead vocal and some harmonies. We've got various different parts. They're kind of organised uh, in groups. So here we've got Femi, the male lead singer, doing a harmony. Or is it complicated? Well, actually, he's just doing the lead part there. So I'm going to pan this one left, this one right, because we've got three left, center, and right. Or is it complicated? And we've got a low one. Or is it complicated? Now, we find it quite difficult to localize low frequencies. So I'm going to keep this one in the center, which is going to be reinforcing this lead part, and it's going to be quite quiet in the mix. Or is it complicated? Or is it complicated? And I've got a female vocal doing some backing, so I'm going to pan those left and right. Or is it complicated? Simple. 
is it that simple? Or is it complicated? It's an important part of the track, that harmony. It's kind of acting like an a important hook in the chorus, so I'm going to have that quite loud. Now again, we've got another lead vocal backed up by harmonies here. Take that leap of faith, jumping right away and fall into me. So again, those pairs and triplets of harmonies, I'm going to pan those left and right as well. Take that leap of faith, jumping right away and fall into me, baby. Take that leap of faith, jumping right away and fall into me. It makes such a big difference having those panned out to the sides. It's a great kind of feeling of size. Okay, I can hear, for example, on some of these harmonies, I haven't gone in and done any automation on these at all with the game plugin so i may do that but i'll do that in between because you know exactly how to do that so i don't want to kind of waste your time having to watch me do it over and over again so i'll probably do that before i shoot the next video thanks for watching